is the output of the um, optic converter I made. So you can see the filament of that light bulb behind you, and now you can't. Now it's evident again. Now it's gone. Now you can see it, and now you don't. Uh, believe it or not, on so electricity's off, light on, and electricity off, light on, electricity on, light off. The power is on now. It's off now. It's on now, and it's off now. So it's off. The light passes on. The light doesn't. And so you can see the um, apparatus here. And it's 60 volts at half an amp. We turn the magnets off now. The light's passing and now. It won't. Now it's on. And it's the um, main device that does this. Is this um, large magnet here? with the polarizer number one here and polarizer number two here. The light source is blinding. It's this bulb back here with a mirror and there's a pinhole in this as you can see. Um, so in theory you can build an um, electric optic inverter. Um, just one last demonstration. So you have to collimate it and it's kind of hard to see the filament. Now you can. and. So let's zoom in so it's more obvious. So there it is, and the electricity is off, and the light passes, electricity on, light doesn't. Electricity off, light passes, electricity on, light doesn't. To prove it's on, let me show you. The switch is on here, it's in the on position, and this thing registers a current. Oops, registers a current, about half an amp here. 50 volts of that plus that and so now we'll zoom back in still can't see it but now you can now you can now you can't now you can and there's no moving parts here the whole apparatus itself is surprisingly Entirely electric. So I'm trying to get that filament back in focus. It's kind of hard. It's the uh, filament of that bulb at the back all the way. Let's see, there it is. On, off, on, off. This was a effect discovered by, uh, excuse me, by Faraday in the 1840s. Um, as you can see, it requires a hefty power supply. A uh, very large, you know, five to ten thousand turns of 28 gauge wire magnet. It's not very warm, although this is burning up back here. So it is possible to build an optic inverter. Mirrors can work in OR function, so in theory you could build a computer out of this. Um, hope that was interesting. It's spelt a month's worth of work. Uh, by the way, this tube has a, a piece of glass with epoxy on either end, and there's olive oil inside. So the um, rotation of the light in the tube that these two linear polarizers pick up is proportional to the magnetic field strength and length of the tube. That's why it's so long, and the constant um, for the material. It was highest for olive oil, easiest available material to find. But uh, it's a pretty interesting idea, really. In that, in theory, you could build an optic computer. As you can see, some of the light in this tube is reflecting off the walls. I guess you could paint it black. Another idea was to use a series of lenses in the attempt to, to uh, get rid of the, uh, the tube itself getting in the image. Um, anyways, I uh, hope that was interesting. Uh, by the way, this is about 8 inches long, and this is a view of the source. Let me unplug it real fast. The source, I was going to use a projection LED. It's nothing more than a very hot 300-watt bulb out. A mirror, and you can see in the front, a pinhole where the light gets through. Um, I guess that's it.